Look at Jesus on the cross. Why did God not intervene? Why didn't Jesus on the cross call 10,000 angels like he said I could do if I want to? But he knew by the non-intervention. He could have said, you just wait. You just wait, you who are driving these nails through my hands. He could have flinched his fist, clenched his fist and said, you just wait. I'm going to get you back if it's the last thing I do instead. He said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Stephen, Stephen, look at Stephen. Standing there, being stoned to death. Angel, the Bible said his face lit up like an angel and they could not resist the spirit by which he spoke while they're stoning him. God could have turned those stones into marshmallows. He, he, he let Simon Peter out of that prison, but there came later a time when Paul the Apostle gets beat with whips. In Acts 16, he was bloodied and he was beaten and his back was striped. Don't you know God didn't intervene, but he could have, he, he could have turned that whip into wet noodles. He said, no, I've got, a, I've got a cause. I've got a purpose. I'm going to show my glory in lives. And, and sometimes God allows us to go through non-interventions and seasons where he says, you follow me through this thing and it's not your time for that. It's your time for this. And if I'm allowing you to go through it, even though I'm not doing all this to you, all this bad stuff to you, I promise you I'm going to get glory out of it if you'll follow me. And Stephen is being stoned, and your Bible said there's a guy named Saul of Tarsus who's holding the coats of the stoners. Saul of Tarsus would be converted and become Paul the Apostle. And had Stephen not had to deal with with the non-intervention of God and the rocks are hitting him and he sees Jesus and he dies seeing Jesus. The Apostle Paul is standing there and something begins to shift in his heart, a, a hater of Christianity. Now something, a seed is planted. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes God lets us go through stuff to show His grace to other people that we have no idea what he's doing. I'll speak for my own family. We've been through things the last few years that I never dreamed we would deal with. It felt like we were crashing and burning. Because I said to God when all that was going, when I really got frustrated on the frustrating days, and I still, we still got stuff we're dealing with. And I said, what about that family? I mean... Why, 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 do, why are their kids just perfect? Or why is their marriage just perfect? Or why can't Sharice get herself together? We, we fight too much. It's her. What is the deal? Look at those lovey doveys. Look at them. Oh, I'm preaching whether you want to. You just, you just pretend. I, I don't have time to pretend. I really love my wife. I love her now like I have ne I've always loved her. But I know how to love her now. And I can stand up here and I can tell you, she had about all of me she could stand until we reached a point we had to get help. We had to go to counseling. We still go to counseling. And I don't care what you think about me. All I can tell you is, if you follow him, he'll work it out. I don't know who I'm preaching to. And if I, if I have to be made a fool and we have to be seen as, as crazy, then so be it. No, you don't have a perfect preacher nor a perfect family does he have. But boy, I tell you what we got. We got Jesus' blood for our family. We got Jesus' blood on my children, on their good, on their bad, on my marriage, on my family. And I promise you when the trumpet sounds, we're going to heaven, hallelujah, and I'll follow him. I'll follow him right through through every fire I go through. And maybe, just maybe, 
Maybe when we're under the load like we have been through the last few years with divorce and stuff hitting our kids and our family and all kinds of stuff and oh my God, addictions and all kinds of stuff and I could be quiet and I could pretend, praise the Lord, I'm done with that kind of Christianity. I want to tell somebody, I can't promise you it's going to happen like that. I can't promise you you're not going to cry all night. I can't promise you, you can't, you're going to have to go do what you can do and get some help. I can't promise you it's just going to be bam, a miracle. But I can promise you, if you'll hold to God's unchanging hand, if you'll say, Lord, I will not let go until you bless me and my family, I'm seeing breakthrough in every area of my life right now. Somebody shout. Somebody take a minute and let hell know it's not going to win. The devil is a liar. Satan is a liar. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.